And we're back. Back with Dandelion. Let's get into it. I can stay at home. 21 out of 25. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Let's do some sketching. I drew flying dandelion seeds. How ironic. Damn it. No black cat. No black cat. Laundry. Come on, cat. Let's study. No. God damn it. Take him out next weekend. Why are you always in the bedroom, cat? What should I do? Oh, hello. No, not that. Let's dress up. What should I wear today? I opened my closet. It's not a good idea to always follow the trend. Just because something is popular doesn't mean it'll look good on me. Okay. <laughs> it's very cute. Come on, cat. Come on. Let's poke you again. I want to poke your white paw this time. Yeah! You're ticklish. How adorable. Jisoo was pacing around the refrigerator. Uh, I guess I'll have to give him something to eat. Here you go. Come on, come on, kitty. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. 24. 24 out of 25. Oh, and I've got a heart. Skincare, take a nap. I don't want to talk to no plants. Okay. Yeah, reduce the feeling of stress. Oh! It's so pretty. Thank you, Jisoo. Aww. Jisoo's the cutest, apart from that lingerie he bought me. Jisoo bought you the silver earrings. It's so pretty. Thank you, Jisoo. Am I not going to ask where he got those? Because it's kind of like literal cat burglar. <clears throat> Come on, kitty. Come on, kitty. Let's, let's do some sketching. No, I don't. Go away, my rabbit. I'm going to stare at your ear. Go away. I don't care. Go away, rabbit. Go away. Go away. Goodbye. Right. I said I was going to take you out this weekend. Let's go out, baby. Been to the park. Let's go back to the beach. We haven't been to the beach in a while. I want to go to the beach before the summer is over next month. Jisoo, let's go together. Does he know that we're going to the beach? Jisoo was staring in the direction where the bus stop is. Hmm, maybe he's smarter than I thought. Jisoo came over to me with something in his mouth. What is it? A swimsuit? Where in the world did you get this from? <laughs> you troublemaker, how am I supposed to find the owner of this swimsuit? I'm sure she's looking for it. Has Jisoo just got and stripped a lady? No, I can't wear my lingerie. Look around. Sand. Yay. Seashell, and let's get some dust. Shall we? Dust. Anyone? High and fat? Low and fat? Dust. Anyone? No. Dust. Jisoo and I dipped our feet in the water as we played at the beach. All that playing around made me tired. Are you tired too, Jisoo? Let's hurry and go home. Of course, you have to take a bath. Till seven, five. How do we get to five with you? You hate us. 
three out of fifty. <laughs> Maybe his builds faster than everyone else's. But yeah, let's stay at home. I've got some pressure and some stress going on. Let's take a rest. Let's take a rest with Kitty. Like it. Let us pat your head. Oh, what? Huh, you don't seem to be in a good mood today. He was fine with that. Jesus was licking my hand. <laughs> that tickles. Dress him up. Pressure's too high. Gotta study. Gotta study. Oh, hey, Spotted Rabbit. You're under my foot for some reason. Come on, please. Yi Jang, wait up. Huh? I was on my way home when Hee Jae called me from behind and handed me a black plastic bag. What's this? Usually what Hee Jae gives me in black plastic bags is food. What, in like bin bags? The chestnuts. Chestnuts? I looked into the bag and saw that it was full of chestnuts. It's still summer. Why did you get so many chestnuts? It's not the season for chestnuts yet. My mum decided she wanted some and ordered too much online or something. I thought you might like it. Hedra's mum must have a habit of buying too much food. This isn't the first time that Hinjay gives me food like this. I always feel bad for receiving things from you. Is this really alright? Of course. Oh, by the way, did you know that you can feed chestnut shells to animals? Huh? I heard that chestnut shells are healthy for their fur. Chestnut shells? Animals actually eat chestnut shells? I've never heard of it before. Will they be able to eat these hard shells? The shell has something called tannin content or something. So it has detox effects. It widens the skin and makes their fur shinier. I also heard that women grind this to make natural face packs or something. Tannin contents? Anyway, I heard that rabbits love this stuff. Rabbits, hamsters... Cats. I heard it's good for all of them. That perked my interest. Really? Really. But the shell is so hard. Can they really eat this? EJ thought for a moment. After all, rabbits have such sharp, strong teeth for a reason, right? And cats, too. That makes sense. Squirrels eat acorns, too, after all. Thank you. I'll use this well. By the way. Yeah? Uh, n nothing. EJ hesitated as if he wanted to say something, but instead just smiled awkwardly. Okay, bye. Will the animals really like this? So far I've only given them pet food or vegetables. But it'll be a good idea to give them something new for a change. I'm home! The five animals rushed towards me. It's already six in the evening. They must be hungry. I feel bad for just giving them nothing but a bowl of chestnut shells. Perhaps it would be better to add other things to it, things that are healthy for them. I opened the refrigerator and saw a lot of leftover ingredients. I think I heard somewhere that yoghurt is good for cats. And broccoli and carrots. There are more ingredients in the refrigerator than I thought. I might as well make dinner for the animals with all this instead of giving them the usual food. How about mixing everything that might be healthy for them? I should put in everything that's healthy, plus the things they usually like to eat. I mixed everything up in a large salad bowl. What the hell? Right, I had aloe juice in the fridge as well. I don't think they'll like this. Chestnut shells, apples, carrots, yoghurt, broccoli, aloe juice. Hmm. It doesn't look very appetising. It doesn't sound it. 
It may not look appealing to humans, but um, animals might like it. Hey guys, come and get it! I put the bowl down on the floor. I could hear their footsteps. Meow? Gian suddenly halted in front of the bowl. Why is he not eating? Is it because he's not familiar with it? Jisoo, who arrived later, began to devour the food. Ah, he's eating. The rabbits also strolled into the kitchen and began eating. They seem to like it. Everyone's eating except for Gion, who is staring at the bowl. What a relief. I hope it tastes good. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Worried. Jisoo licked the aloe juice and suddenly let out a strange sound. Well, what's, what's wrong? G Jisoo, are you okay? Jisoo backed off from the food and continued gagging. What? Is it the aloe juice? No! Kitty! Kitty! Jisoo now had his back on the floor, twisting his body and kicking his feet. No! What? What shall I do? Jisoo! The rabbit seemed just fine. Maybe the food wasn't right for cats. The rabbits are still eating without a problem. Jisoo, what should I do? Oh my gosh. What? Jiwoo's body suddenly stiffened. His face turned blue and he collapsed on the floor. Jiwoo! Why are you happening? Both Jisoo and Jiwoo have gotten sick. Oh my, who do I help first? No, don't make me make this choice. That's horrible. What? What happened? What? What is the problem? Chestnut shells? Aloe juice? Or is it the yoghurt? What should I do? I couldn't figure out what caused the problem since I put in so many different ingredients. It seems both Jisoo and Jiwoo ate everything from in the bowl. I should take care of Jisoo first. He's throwing up. But wait, Jiwoo passed out. No, before that... Stop eating, guys! I picked up the salad bowl from the floor. There must be no more casualties. Whoa, what? Wait. No, no. Don't do... Don't do this! Don't do this to me! My food experiment ended up costing me one cat and one rabbit. Strangely, Jihei and Jian seem fine. Jisoo, Jiwoo, I'm sorry. What caused the problem? I couldn't figure out the reason for this. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I had a heart attack. I thought they were dead. Oh my god. Jisoo, are you alright? I still feel sick. I think I'm going to die. What was that? Well, at least you threw everything up and you're feeling better. But Bunny here really did come back from the dead. Shut up. How could she even think of giving us something like that? She must be out of her mind. I, I think it was okay. That's because you only ate the apples, young master. How come those two rabbits are just fine? The small one only ate the apples and the big one ate nothing but broccoli. Picky eaters. It's better than eating and then throwing everything up. You should have a well-balanced diet. Of course, under the premise that the food is safe. Or like I do, just don't eat everything. Oy vey, noisy cats, stupid owner. I'm so sick of everyone and everything. Hey, are you going to keep complaining? The food giver actually went through the trouble of making something for us. I mean, yeah, it was a little dangerous, but it's the thought that counts. Making nothing is better than making poisonous food. But she worked so hard to prepare it. You didn't even eat a thing. I wanted to eat more apples. I do truly appreciate her trying to take care of us. Apples. I didn't eat. But I thanked her from the bottom of my heart. I would thank her too when she makes us something edible. But don't you think she's changed a bit? Changed? How? 
Well, it seemed like she was taking care of us only by obligation before, but she became much nicer recently. Hmm, that's true. She wouldn't have even cooked for us before. Things were better before. Now I even have to watch out what I eat. I think she's cheered up mostly because of your feet, Bunny. Shut up, furball. She did change a bit. I think she's relaxed a little over time. That's good. Okay, nearly killed my animals, but whatever. Let's go see the two animals I tried to kill. <laughs> Let's draw. Black cat. I'm so sorry, black cat. Let me stroke your face. Oh no, I'm so sorry. No! <laughs> I keep ruining everything. <laughs> Jisoo was surprisingly quiet looking at my painting. Do you like this picture of a dandelion? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel like such an asshole. Still 25 out of 25. <sighs> I'm going to chill and not pet you. You are so cute. Jisoo sat on the couch too. Jisoo fell off the couch while playing. Are you okay, Jisoo? Pressure's getting hot, yeah, need to study. Study, study, study. Ugh. Let's stay home. Gone for four on these two. Hmm. Let's watch some TV. No, white rabbit. No, just stay. I don't care. Good. Bye, baby rabbit. I don't want to be friends with you. Come on, black cat. Give me something. The summer beach is just packed with people. High school students on their scooters. People from other countries taking sun baths. Family's on vacation. It'll probably be like this until the beginning of September. I could see the crashing waves under the beach umbrella that I had rented. I want to go into the water, but I have to stay to take care of the animals. I could hear people screaming whenever a big wave came. I really feel like I'm away on vacation. It's been such a long time since I was out like this. I haven't gone on vacation since I began to live alone. I visited the beach only once when I was young. Mum didn't want to go into the water because she was afraid of getting tanned. I played with Dad instead. I don't remember it too well. It was such a long time ago. Back then, Mum was smiling. <sighs> Mum was so beautiful and nice when she was younger. Meow. Jihei and Jiyun are sitting under the shade, looking at the ocean. Jiwoo hasn't even come out of the basket. Jisoo and Jian are running around under the sun. Actually, Jisoo is chasing Jian and Jian is trying to run away. <laughs> they look so cute. The pets got me to go out today. It would be a shame if I didn't show them this beautiful ocean. But I wouldn't have bothered to go if I were alone. I enjoy going to the beach. Beaches in the summer were always lively and fun. Mom, look, a sandcastle! A boy shouted at his mum. I turned around and saw a family eating lunch together. Family and the beach. Look at the sandcastle I made. Didn't I do a good job? It looks great. Come have lunch. You'll get tired if you keep playing without eating. Too bad our house is so far from the beach. I want to come here more often. In that case, let's come again next year. Really? Don't take his word for it. He's so busy that he doesn't even have vacations during the summer. 
but I, I still hope we can come. I'll take some time off work next year too. We'll come back. Really? You're the best, Daddy. We promised we'd come back the following year. But I never got to spend the summer with Dad again. Hey! Something furry had suddenly hopped onto my lap. Meow! Gee, on. He must have come to me in order to avoid Jisoo. Jisoo gave ji a look and growled softly. Ji-on look, Ji-on's looking down on Jisoo with triumphant eyes. Ji-hun and ji sitting together under the shade, looked at the cats as if to call them pathetic. ji folded his ears as if to silently protest against the cat's racket. Huh? What would these animals look like if they were human? They already have such interesting relations among themselves. The sudden thought made me smile. That will never happen, of course. Please say it's happening soon, please. If they all turned into humans, things would be interesting. No kidding. How would it feel if they looked at me, into my eyes, and talked to me like humans? Would I be able to feel as relaxed in front of them as I am now? Of course, it'll never happen. <laughs> but if it does, things would certainly be interesting. Never happen. Never. Right. I can afford to have a chill. I watched the two cats chasing each other. Don't you guys ever get tired? No, spotted rabbit. Go away. Laundry day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nearly everyone's in the bedroom. Let's go and sketch while I'm in here, shall we? Get my art up. No. Look at that kawaii eye. Kawaii bunny. Go away. Go away, bunny. I want me some black cat. That is it. Oh, I can do something else. Decrease the effects of stress. Or magazine, homework, documentary. I think I'm going to do stress. Come on, I'm going to take a chill. Damn it. Come on, kitty. Oh no, my bar stops are all tangled. God damn it, kitty. Why, kitty? Let's stay home. Let's do some makeup. Makeup base has to be meticulously applied. I'm doing well so far. I have a good feeling about it today. Okay. Twenty six. Stay home. No, no bunny. No bunny. No bunny. Yes, kitty. Let's just study. No! Getting angry about this. I haven't seen the cat in like a week now. <laughs> Here we go. Encounter the cat. Let's play. He's smiling. That's so cute. Jisoo is pacing around the refrigerator. Uh, I guess I'll have to get him something to eat. Here you go. Come on. Come on. 
to have one more exciting thing before this video ends. No, not Jiwoo. Go away, Jiwoo. No. No. Oh, go away! No! No. I'm not okay with that. Look at him. Bastard. Okay. I need to wear a bolero with this dress. Where did it go? Son of a bitch! Just go in the kitchen! I feel very stalkerish. <laughs> right, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to rest. God damn it! I need to go study. <gasps> Come on! Come on! August is over now. School starts next Monday. Back to my usual busy life. Although I did get pretty busy with various activities during the summer vacation too. I didn't expect the three months of vacation to pass by this quickly. I can't believe the second semester of my senior year is here already. It seems like yesterday when I first entered the school. I'll be graduating soon. I can't even think of what kind of work I would like to get into after graduation. So I'm planning to take insufficient credits for graduation so that I can attend school for one more semester. It sounds better to be called a college student rather than an unemployed person. I feel pathetic purposely delaying myself from going into society. But I, I really don't know. My major doesn't interest me, neither does business, and I, I still don't know what I want to do. But I can't just get a job anywhere either. Others put off their future decisions for the future by going abroad to study or studying at a law school. Am I going to end up becoming one of them? I became independent for a moment and moved to Bus Busan to avoid that exact situation. I thought that as time passes I would be able to find my dream and live with passion. I thought I would someday find my calling. This is what I want to do. But that wasn't the case. A long time has passed and I still don't know what I want to do. So that's why I'm even more afraid. That I will be rejected by mum, by society, and eventually I'll be left behind alone. <sighs> Another endless route begins tomorrow. And I don't have the courage to get out of that life yet. Hmm, you finally made your decision. Aren't you feeling a little down? The climax of the game is just beginning. Good night, my heroine. I hope you like the present that I have left for you. Is this what I think is happening? Please. Uh, uh, please. <gasps> Look at that screen. Did you see that screen? I'm very sorry. I will calm down. That was loud. <laughs> I must have gotten a bad cold, maybe because I was pushing myself lately. I have a headache and a sore throat, and I even have a fever. Guys, I'm so excited, I can't contain it. When was the last time that I was sick like this? Come to think of it, I was often sick in high school. Why was that so? It wasn't that I was sick physically, just as I am now, but I cried a lot. Not because I was sick or hurt, but... I think I cried even more because no one ever noticed that I was crying. I remember crying even harder and louder as if I was really sick. It's because you're not taking care of yourself like you should be. My mum thought my, that my body was just naturally weak. Looking back I was fairly healthy but my mum always blamed my weak stamina. 
She blamed me for not eating right and exercising enough. And those words would always hurt me. That's not what I wanted to hear. She never once asked how and why I was sick. If she had asked, if she had shown some interest in me, I might have felt better soon. Meow. Jesus strode into my room. He hopped onto the bed and climbed onto my stomach. I could feel his weight. His eyes are sharp and pointed, but he is soft and warm. Feeling Jisoo's warmth, I slowly closed my eyes. Jisoo is a big eater and sometimes acts silly, but he's cute in his own way. Whenever something happens to me, he comes to my side, just like now. Ow! I suddenly felt something very heavy pressing down my chest. <laughs> What? I can't breathe. Feeling suffocated, I opened my eyes and saw... Dun, dun, dun! What? What? Oh my, hello! <laughs> hello, Mr. Kitty! Okay! A guy was on top of me. Holy shit, look at that six-pack. A guy. A guy of my age. What? What in the world? Black hair and golden eyes. A face I've never seen before. I definitely haven't seen this face before, but it seems familiar. And I could clearly hear his heartbeat. What? Not knowing how to react, I simply stared at the guy on top of me, with my mouth gaping in astonishment. Are you feeling alright? The guy opened his mouth. Before I could answer, he reached out his hand to touch my forehead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who are you? I swatted his hand away. It's me, Jisoo. Jisoo? But that's the name of my cat. Does he want to say that he he's a cat? Uh, maybe I fell asleep because I was so sick and now I'm dreaming. Dude, look at that scarf. That is fancy. That's it. I even imagined recently how it would be if the animals are humans. You call me Jisoo. The cat? Jisoo the cat? Yeah. How did a cat become human? My voice is trembling. This is too much even for a dream. How did a cat become human? The guy who claims that he's Jisoo mimicked my words as if to mock me. You finally brought back my true self. I could feel his breath on my neck. He's so close to me. Too close. My head felt as if it might explode. Get, get off! Huh? Oop, shaky screen. Get off me right now! I shouted, wriggling my body. I struggled with all my might to be freed from him. Hold still. <laughs> <laughs> the guy firmly grabbed my wrist and put his weight down on my body so that I won't struggle anymore. Our eyes met. I'm scared. Who is he? Where did he come from? I was worried, you fool. He stared at me with serious eyes. Worried? Worried? Worried about me? <gasps> my vision became blurry. Of all the times when I'm feeling weak and lonely... He was worried about me. But we never met before. Did you see really turn into a human? M my wrist, let go! No. I'm not going to let you go until you listen to me. I finally came back to my true self. I could feel my body shaking now. A cat becoming human? It can't be true. Are you really Jisoo? I told you, I'm Jisoo. I live with you here. Is he telling me... To believe that a cat actually turned into a human. But he's wearing weird clothes, something that I've never seen before. Is he doing what people call a costume play? Dude, don't you be skitting that scarf and that vastly open shirt. And what does he have on top of his head? Those are cat ears. Black cat ears. They do look similar to Jisoo's black cat ears. When I peered at them, I could see them moving slightly. What? They're real? This is who I truly am. 
happen? You are really Jisoo? You're my gut gluttonous cat Jisoo? Oh, baby, you're so fancy. You're so fancy. Because of the moving cat is in front of my eyes, I couldn't tell whether this was real or a dream. Yes, it's the wizard who turned me into a cat. The wizard? Yep. Because the wizard and I made a contract, I had to become a cat in front of you. Uh... So he became a cat with some magic? It's like listening to a fairy tale. Then, then you are really the cat, Jisoo. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not an animal that lives in your world? What, what do you mean? You're from another world? I can't tell you that. That's the contract. Contract? What does he mean? Don't worry about it. What's important is that I can now be my true self in front of you from now on. No, that's not the problem. I, ju I just can't believe that you're Jisoo. It's really me. Can't you tell? Look at my ears. His ears twitched. They are exactly the same ears that Jisoo has. And Jisoo was lying on my stomach. He also has the same golden eyes. And the necklace! The necklace that he's wearing is definitely Jisoo's. So then you really are Jisoo? Yes, really. He stared at me with a serious look on his face. He doesn't seem to be lying. So you became an animal because of some magic? Yes. And you're saying that magic really does exist? Yes, it does. It's like a fairy tale. It's hard to believe, but the twitching cat ears convinced me. What's magic, and where are you from? I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm bound by the contract. If I tell you that, I'll be violating it. This can't be happening. But it is actually happening in front of my eyes. So, so you're, you're going to be like this from now on? I can go back to being a cat if you want. Oh. My head suddenly started to spin. I feel dizzy. Hey, are you okay? Feeling sick again? The guy asked me with a worried voice. He let go of my wrist. I collapsed into bed. Is it really Jisoo? As I thought so, I became less tense and started to have a headache. My head hurts and my face was burning. Am I hallucinating because I'm so sick? No, you're not hallucinating, but if seeing me like this makes you more sick, I'll go back to being a cat. So get well soon. I could hear his gentle voice as I closed my eyes. By the way, I'm going to get take some food out of the fridge if I get hungry. He certainly speaks like Jisoo would, I thought, and the room became quiet. When I opened my eyes, Jisoo the cat was sitting right next to me. After seeing that, I closed my eyes again. I could feel Jisoo's warmth next to me. Feeling more relaxed, I fell into a deep sleep. <coughs> Bless me. It's morning. Hmm? Come to think of it, it seems like something happened last night. No, come on! Don't say I've forgotten. Oh, there we go. I suddenly remembered what had happened and quickly sat up from the bed. Jisoo! I looked around and saw no one. Dream? Was it a dream? Yeah, it, it, it must be a dream. I stepped down from the bed. Despite having a horrible body ache last night, I felt much lighter this morning. I twisted my body around, but didn't feel dizzy at all. Oh, what a relief. Being sick messes up my schedule. What? When I stepped into the living room, I became speechless at what was in front of me. Five pairs of animal ears. Animal ears? Good morning. Four. Oh, yeah. We are stopping there. This is exciting. <laughs> okay, guys. We'll get into fall. We've got through summer. We'll get back into fall soon. Okay? 
So I will see you guys next time. Bye!